Hey, what's up, guys? Steve's MacFix. Today, I'm going to do a quick unboxing. As you can see, here I have some awesome scissors, some kid scissors, actually. I'm, you know, I'm a dad, of course, four year old and two year old. But anyway, so here I am unboxing um, actually eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM for my MacBook Pro. Got it for 89 bucks on Amazon, so I wanted to show you guys a quick unboxing and how to upgrade your MacBook Pro RAM. By purchasing RAM, you could actually um, make your MacBook actually last a lot longer. Um, it's, it's a quick and cheap way to upgrade your computer and notice a difference in performance. So here it is, a crucial 8 gigabyte kit, 4 gigabyte modules, and so here we go. Um, figured it would be nice for you guys to learn how to do this. Anyway, so here it is. There's some essentials obviously to do this tutorial. You need some 8 gigabyte kit RAM. You need a screwdriver, a number 00. zero. And if you can, great to have a static bracelet. First step, remove all the screws on the bottom of your MacBook Pro. As you can see, the hinge here is on the top. The first three screws I unscrew is actually a little bit longer, so when you put the MacBook Pro shell back on on the bottom, just realize that is where the three long screws actually go. From here, make sure your screws are in a safe place. They're really small screws. Make sure you have a nice container uh, to put them in. Some tips actually when you're removing these screws, uh, be careful. Uh, you could easily scratch the bottom of your MacBook Pro by your screwdriver actually sliding around. Um, take your time, make sure you're on a clean surface. Well, um, make sure also, too, there's nothing obstructing your view. And other than that, you should be okay. Pretty simple. Grab where the hinge is. That's the easiest way to actually pull the bottom shell. Remove the shell. Go ahead and put that in a safe place. Here you could actually see the innards of the MacBook Pro from the bottom. Here I'm pointing to a terabyte hard drive that's on my MacBook Pro and also too you might as well familiarize. That's the DDR3 RAM we are going to actually change out. Go ahead touch a metal piece on the MacBook that way you could get rid of some static. If you want you could actually use a static bracelet at this point from here on. Next, what we want to do is notice right here there is two little clips. We have to open that up. Let's get a little bit of a, bit, a better view of uh, how to remove the RAM that's existing in our MacBook. Here, I'm using a screwdriver to point to where the clip is, left and right. All you got to do is pull those apart. Let me show you. Really simple. Priority is up. The first slot should actually just go ahead and open up and it'll be really easy to take out. Just pull it. Make sure you don't touch the chips itself. Just hold it from the sides. Next, go and slide the second piece out. After that, go ahead and take your new RAM that you bought and you're going to put it into, there's two slots here again, you're just going to make sure you put it with the right spot and you'll notice there's a little notch on there. Make sure it matches up from there because the stickers are sometimes put on different spots. Just make sure the main part when aligning it is that notch that we're talking about. Make sure it's nice and snug. It will snap back in place automatically pretty easy. Take the second module chip and go ahead, slide it in there. Um, take your time. No rush. And that's pretty much it. Next, all we have to do is go ahead, put the lid back on. Take the, the side where the hinge is, connect it back to where the hinge is back on the Mac. Remember, the first three screws on the top are going to be longer, so make sure you get the right screws in the right place. Again, be very careful. The screws are really small, and if you're not careful, you could lose them really easy. So take your time when doing this part. Here's a quick tip. If you notice that it is teething, the screws that you're putting in are teething, what you want to do is slightly loosen it up. It will sit back in correctly into the hole the way it's supposed to go. And then go ahead and tighten it back up. The last thing you want to do is teeth those little tiny screws. If you mess it up, it's going to be really hard to take off.
Go ahead now, open up your lid, press the power button on your Mac. Alright, so once you've got your Mac booted, all you got to do here is just go to your menu bar, click on the Apple logo, and go from about this Mac. Now obviously your RAM is working if your computer started, but just to verify that all your RAM is being taken in and that it's just not reading one chip module, go ahead and take a look at this. As you can see here, it has 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM for me. Alright you guys, this is how you change the RAM on your MacBook Pro. If you have any questions, just drop them below. Um, hopefully I could get a chance to answer all your questions. For now, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Bye-bye.